same Benedict was the son of a Roman noble of Nursia, a small town near Spoleto. His boyhood was spent in Rome, where he lived with his parents, but when he reached the higher schools, he departed from Rome. He refused to live a life as a noble, to go and serve God, but he does not leave Rome to live as a hermit, but to find a peaceful place away from the city. He brings his nurse with him, and they live in Emphide, a little town close to Subiaco and about 40 miles from Rome. In this town, he performs his first miracle. He restores an earthenware wheat sifter, which was broken by one of his servants. After having performed this miracle, he becomes too notorious, and for this reason he decides to escape from Emphide to go and live in a more peaceful place. While he is escaping, he meets Romanus, a monk who convinces St. Benedict to become a hermit. And after this, St. Benedict lives for three years in a cave, and he often meets with Romanus, who gives him food. St. Benedict decides to bring together all those who wanted to follow a monastic life, and successively creates 12 monasteries of 12 monks each. However, a monk called uh, Florentus was jealous of Benedict's success, and he tries to poison him by giving him a poison loaf. After this episode, St. Benedict decides to depart to Cassius, a town destroyed by the gods, where the populations made sacrifices to Apollo and other classical divinities. St. Benedict tries to convert these people to Christianity, and during, his pe and during this period, he writes his most famous book, The Rule, and starts curing the sick and trying to give food to the poor. Once St. Benedict had founded a monastery in Monte Cassino, he compiled a book of 73 chapters and a prologue called The Rule. It covered many topics, including the measure of food, how the monks should sleep, and even what times the monks should say Alleluia. Because so many people were inspired in the life of monks, St. Benedict wrote the work in simple language that any of the laity could understand. The term oblat describes one who attempts to live by the rule, but is not a monk. St. Benedict's concept of hard work and interaction with the community eventually evolved to become the ideal lifestyle for monks around the world. So, the chapters of the rule are still read to allowed in monasteries today. St. Benedict predicted his approaching death and began to prepare a pit. A fever soon weakened him and St. Benedict was kept, was kept to his bed. He passed away six days later with his hands facing heaven and surrounded by disciples. Shortly after, two monks saw a path leading from St. Benedict's cell to heaven, made of gold, poles, and burning torches. The fact that he died of natural causes, St. Benedict is considered a confessor saint rather than a martyr. St. Benedict grew especially well known after his death in the mid-6th century. The rule had become so popular by the 9th century that Christian communities began to be referred as monasteries. In addition, St. Benedict was appointed one of the patron saints of Europe by Pope, by Pope Paul VI in 1964 due, its, due to his contribution to the unification of Europe during his lifetime. The death of St. Benedict was even recognized by an annual feast day for Byzantine Christians and Catholics. And also, Pope Benedict XIV justifies his choice of name by referencing St. Benedict's major influences of Christianity and European culture. In the last 10 years, it has been calculated that there are at least 1,200 Benedictine institutions around the world. There are also approximately 16,000 members of the clergy and 25,000 oblates, and about 1,600 of them currently live in Italy.